cloud radio show on the planet. E-Block Radio. Yo, 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 you know what it is, man. The live is cloud radio show on the planet. That would be Earth, sir. Straight from the E-Block Radio live on your dial right this moment, man. It's your boy, the Hood Howard Stern. Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205. I got my man Angry Man in the building. What up, though? Got my man Bump Money in the building. Yep. I, I wasn't even expecting to say that. That's why I got I got alarmed and shit. I didn't, I didn't really know if he was going to say nothing. And, I, and yes, I, I said alarmed. Oh, wow. uh, it's Friday, man. Freaky, freaky, freaky Friday. Yeah. Uh, it's been a little minute since we've been in here. Uh, two days to be exact and shit. But uh, what's been popping with you, dog? Not too much, man. Like I said, Easy Street Saloon, man. One six one one six one zero one <laughs> East Ten Mile Road. What man. is my fucking one six one thousand? It's in that block, man. Yeah, it's in that block. Between Grash and the Hay, you know, fuck <laughs> with it. So that bitch. Hey, you know what I tell you? It's next door to the Little Caesars, across the street from the Big Lots. Nice show. Come that's the way I. That's the way I do it. Yeah. Shit. There you go. Yeah. So we up in that thing, dog. Friday night, man. Come get some. Uh, yeah. I'm not gonna even. I ain't gonna say nothing about the lamb chops no more. Cause no. they probably not gonna be in effect till tomorrow. Exactly. Uh, but come through and shit, get you some good drinks and shit. Uh, you know what? It's Friday, so come in right after work, dog. Four to seven happy hour. Dollar beers, man. Half off apps and shit. Three dollar shots. Good shit, man. Pull, pull up. up. Yeah, pull up. You know what I'm saying? Then stay all night and just keep getting fucked up like uh, uh, all night. Then the whole weekend too, cause uh, Saturday and shit, of course, is a. Uh, uh, we having a party on Saturday. Shout out to uh, Mrs. Angry Man. It'll be her birthday on Saturday. She'll be celebrating also down mm-hmm. at the East Street Saloon, man. Pull up, dog. Uh, I, what is it? Ten. I think it's ten dollars now. It's ten dollars all night tonight. I mean, on Saturday rather. I'm saying it's free Happy tonight. Happy birthday, you fine motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That nigga working on something. That nigga working on something. Meow, meow. He's on it, boy. He focus. Leave him alone. Uh, (laughs) I ain't even going (laughs) cloudy. So, again, we work, we, uh, we working with some late time and shit, so I guess we're not going to do no commercials and shit. Uh, but is there anything else I want to talk about? Oh, shout out to uh, Royce the Fire Nines. Dropped the album this morning. I uh, had the uh, release party last night, so that was dope. Uh, shot, I shot a few things for... Uh, shout out to my man LB. I shot a couple of promo shots for uh, the uh, the plugs. All right, so gettheplugs.com. Make sure you check my man's out. He got a, a new wireless earbud <coughs> situation coming on. Uh, partnership with uh, Cricket Eye, uh, MRK, at, uh, was M- MRK and shit, another uh, rapper from Detroit, uh, and also uh, is a is a DJ in Florida. I can't remember his name, but uh, it's another. He one of the conglomerate DJs and shit. So he got a, a roster of people on there uh, to get this started, and I was happy to be able to shoot some promo flicks for them. So uh, shout out to them. Uh, what else popped off, dog? I guess that's it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. All right, so look, this is what we're talking about today, man. Should you expect the school to teach black history, dog? It is Black History Month, so, of course, we've been talking about that a little bit. Um, So should we expect them to teach us? Oh, you know what I did want to say, though, before we get to this? What's Just real quick, dog. Dog, hmm. I can't stomach another fucking Mike Bloomberg commercial. <laughs> I can't do it. If they have another commercial with these motherfucking niggas, <laughs> like every commercial got niggas in it, just nigga, 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 like dog, they are obviously pandering to our vote, and that's fine. I, I get it. I guess our vote is important or whatever. But dog, the shit is getting irritating as fuck though. Like anyway, you want to do a lot for the minorities, man. Like I don't just wanna, understand. Just want to get the niggas out here to vote, dog. I, but it's so obvious though. Like that shit not working for me, dog. It's over the top, bro. It's over the top. All they gotta do now what are you doing just, for uh, niggas in New York? All they got to do now is just uh, stand outside of Popeye's chicken. Dog, uh, <laughs> oh, eat a chicken sandwich while they just doing a commercial. Dog, they do that shit. It's, gone, it's all in pop. They, they definitely going to vote for it. And let me ask you this, though. This is this is kind of off the subject, though, but if Trump if Trump pardoned uh, Kwame Kilpatrick and shit, would you look at him differently? No. Mm-mm. Me neither. I, I hope he do pardon him and shit, but I still ain't fucking with him. Nah, like, I'm still not fucking with you. I ain't even gonna think they gonna do that. He ain't gonna do that. I mean, if he did, though, shit, I'm still, it's ain't gonna, it ain't gonna change shit. I'm still not fucking with you. It'd be nice if you let the motherfucker Yeah, out, it'd be man. cool. I still ain't fucking with him, though. Yeah. <laughs> he said he might have, uh, he should run for mayor again. I'll vote for him. <laughs> oh, shit, that's never gonna happen. The, the whites ain't gonna allow that and shit, because you know this day city now. It's they city, they yeah, it's they city, yeah. They but it, <laughs> it's cool though. We gonna get in where we fit in though. Us and all two people that's listening right now. Right. <laughs> right. 
<laughs> All right, let's get to it, dog. So this is what we're talking about today. I got five on me. Oh, for real? Okay, it might be. Uh, should we expect the schools uh, to teach black history? So this is how we got to the situation. Uh, uh, last year, uh, last year in February, uh, around the same time, obviously, uh, Black History Month, uh, in Carolina, I can't remember exactly the city. Um, I think it's Rockwood. or uh, it's, in the, it's in the video that we got, though. So uh, last year, uh, there were some students there at an at a elementary school there who uh, went on a field trip picking cotton and shit, right? So this shit went viral and shit. Niggas got all, you know, up in arms. Uh, the, the school district said that they, you know, they defended it, though. The school district said that this was a field trip that they take every year and it's clearly explained in the... Uh, in the uh, field, what's the shit called? The uh, permission slip. It's clearly explained in that shit that they gonna be picking cotton and shit. So this is, you know, it's clearly explained. They stand behind this shit and they've been doing it for several years. Is what what they said. All right. So like I said, this happened last year. If you're not hip to uh, what happened in, in uh, Carolina last year, I do have a video. All right. So uh, I can play the video for you so you can check that out. Uh, matter of fact, let's go into the video for people who haven't seen it. And uh, we go, we go comment about that, and then we go get into the for real topic. Should we expect them to be teaching our uh, kids Black History anyway? All right, so check out this. Uh, oh, I was about to say commercial break. Check out the video from last year's event, and this is a uh, kids picking cotton. Kids picking cotton. <laughs> I like them when you don't talk back. Make money, make money, save money, 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 money. It is that song, the one you just heard there, that has the NAACP fired up, calling for Rock Hill schools to apologize and conduct sensitivity training for all staff members. But the school district is defending the video tonight, telling NBC Charlotte this was a hands-on educational experience about the Great Depression. Savannah Levins joining us live now with the details. Savannah, what else did the district tell you? So they told me that this is a trip that the fifth graders take every single year. In fact, parents have to sign this permission slip that explicitly says that the students will be picking cotton as a part of the experience. I like them when you don't talk back, make money. This video of Ebenezer Avenue Elementary students singing along to words like break your back, fill your sack, make money for me, while picking cotton triggered swift public backlash. All right, so we back. Yeah, so that was a, a clip from WCNC.com. All right, that's a uh, radio station. I mean, I'm sorry, a news station out in uh, Carolina and shit. So, yeah, if you hadn't seen that video, again, that was from last year. So it is a, a year old. Um, I'm not, they, they put the, uh, you know, they put the school on, on notice and everything, and they had to do some kind of sensitivity training and shit like that. But, like, how was they even getting away with that shit in the first place, though? Like, Angry man, well, shit, both of y'all, I'm going to ask and shit because y'all got kids and shit. But angry man, if you if, if you seen this shit was happening at your kid's school, dog, what the fuck? This nigga, like, he boiling over. <laughs> what would you do, dog? Dog, we're going to have to have a conversation, man. Yeah. Somebody going to have to explain to me why you having these kids do this. Right. What, well, I mean, what, I mean it, you, you, you said they've been doing it every year. Yeah, that's what, that's what it was. Yeah, that's that bullshit, man. And you saw that shit on a permission slip every year. No, I ain't signing shit. Okay. <laughs> that's, the, that's the one part you don't want yeah. to get, though. It no, is on the permission slip. No, on the kids. permission slip, bro. Not, I'm, I'm, I don't give a damn. That don't make it right because it's on the permission it don't, slip. It don't. I'm right. not saying it do, but, but once you sign it, once you sign it and let the motherfucker go and sing their little song and shit. Mm -mm, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. That's that bullshit. You ain't paying the five. I'm not paying the five. Now, what about you, dog? What, what, what you say, dog? Bro, I don't know how to feel about it I'm kind of mixed about it honestly like because I mean I think it's it's a, it's a part of our history and yeah. it's a part of black history that shit happened you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying I'm teaching the kids and showing the kids what happened I I'm on I'm on the fence about it bro like I mean oh, y'all might y'all think it's bad I don't know, I don't know about, about that shit bro I probably want to sign a permission slip because I don't want my kid picking cotton I ain't picking cotton right but, but so I mean, was hanging like, niggas that was part of the times too that they gonna start hanging niggas just to show them that, <laughs> that this is what happened right it's I, a permission slip <laughs> right now, so so that's the thing. Obviously, uh, a lot of the parents uh, signed a permission slip. Maybe they didn't. Maybe they didn't read it all the way through, or maybe they had the same thought that you know more money had. That maybe it's a it's a good learning experience. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're just now chiming in, uh, what we're talking about was uh, last year 
in uh, Carolina, it was a bunch of kids on the field trip picking cotton and shit. And the, nah, well, the school, the school I mean, system was, uh, the school system was, you know, trying to defend it, like saying that, like why, why they was doing it and how it, you know, made sense for the curriculum. Now, what they said though, they they wasn't equating it to slavery. They was saying that uh, it was in, an explanation for uh, the depression. Now, the depression was in the twenties. Obviously, at that point, uh, you know, uh, real physical slavery uh, was over with. So, so picking cotton is, is, is slave shit. That ain't depression shit. No, I want slave shit. Mission slip. <laughs> right. <laughs> they showed it on the clip, but yeah, obviously want, you can't I want see to read it. The yeah. slip. I want to see if it actually says on that permission slip, your kid will be picking cotton. I'm, that's I'm what the sure, lady said. Sure I, I don't did. know. Yeah. I'm sure it did. Oh, yeah. I'm good, yeah, good clean sure white folks told you that's what it said. So, no, what fuck it said. I want to see. Right. It. Yo, if you are just now checking in on IG Live, man, we're talking about uh, should we expect schools to teach our kids black history? That's what we want to know about. And we just reflected on last year, and uh, uh, it was South or North Carolina, I can't remember, uh, in Carolina, where. The school had the kids uh, picking cotton and shit on the field trip. So that's what we're talking about right now. Uh, reactions to that, uh, like I say, it was last year, but still, I think it's uh, I think it's something relevant to talk about. But when when you say that, uh, should you expect uh, the schools to teach Black history? Like, let's say that we do expect them to do that shit, and then this is what they come up with, though. So now, now I'm kind of like, I, maybe maybe we shouldn't expect the schools to teach Black history. Maybe we should just be like, uh, fuck that. We ain't, no. <laughs> That ain't teaching, man. That's work. These motherfuckers are working. <laughs> well, they act, they act like it's teaching and shit. I mean, no. Uh, hey, one, once a year, y'all get an abundance of cotton throughout the month of fucking February. That's work, man. <laughs> That's work. That's slave shit. Uh, yeah, yeah. What, what, what you doing with the cotton? What, I mean, what you doing with it? You know, that, that part or that question was never asked and shit. You know, obviously, the, the initial thing was like, why the hell they got the kids out here doing that shit? No, but that's they, a good question, though, no, actually. They, they know once a month, I mean, one, one, once a year, yeah. they can get abundance of cotton, call it education, and have our kids <laughs> out there picking that shit. Uh, yeah. No, that's fucked up. You think they made some money off that shit for real? What the fuck are they doing with it? Yeah. They had to make some money. Damn, I hadn't even thought about that shit like that, though. What they was doing with the cotton after Once they got a year, they, they done already budgeted that shit. We gonna wow. get these little, we gonna get the little nigglets and get them out here. <laughs> the little nigglets. Get them out here. There's some white kids out there, too. Oh, yeah, that's and... overplay for the underlay. Them white kids are probably the, the, the teacher's kids or some shit. <laughs> I was thinking to turn into Martin Luther X and shit. Yeah, like shit. yeah man, fuck that. <laughs> Hit me in the comment box, dog. Right now, we want to know: uh, Should we expect schools to teach Black History, dog? Um, and if you just now joining in, we were showing a video from uh, Carolina last year where the uh, school had the students out on a field trip, literally <laughs> picking cotton. <laughs> That's a field trip. But uh, so, so my money say, my money say that possibly this could be a learning experience. You're not buying that shit at all, huh? Because my thing is, you, you you could teach that in the classroom. Yeah. All the all, all all the digital shit and, and and computer shit, you can pull that shit up and teach and that in the classroom. A lot of people are more hands on, bro. I don't want my kid being hand on picking cotton. <laughs> I'm just right. saying, yeah, like, yeah, it's right. a learning experience, bro. You know what, what I'm saying? What, like, what are, what are they're they showing them what the fuck they went through in a depression. Depression. Depression, right? That's, <laughs> yo, if y'all listening right now, though, because I'll see a few people checking in. If you listening right now, dog. Hit me, uh, hit me in the comment box right now, though. We want to know what you want your child to experience picking cotton and shit. Like not like in real life, but like as a as a field trip or a learning experience. Hit me in the inbox. I mean, uh, in the comment box right now. That ain't uh, a fucking learning experience, nigga. That's training. I know. Square, what up, though? Yeah, our, uh, our YouTube feed not working today and shit, so it's all on Facebook and shit, though. My bad. That's training. <laughs> you said that's training, huh? Yeah, they training these kids <laughs> how to be slaves, man. Is that what it is? Dog, what else is it? It could be it could be a uh, learning, learning experience. experience bro. I, I'm not buying that shit. I'm just I'm saying. saying Why do my dope. kid need to learn how to pick cotton? It's not it's, it's not, not necessarily learning. learning how to pick cotton, but learning or seeing the experience from. Yeah, so how far hands do you, on, like hands I on. said, so how far do you take these experiences? Yeah. Picking cotton wasn't only part of slavery. They don't. They that's just stupid. Why would they tie a student to a tree and, and what? Duh. That's a part of slavery. <laughs> If you did that, no telling how far you gonna take the shit. That's my way of thinking. I think. I think. So you gonna teach? That's your way of thinking, though, bro. You gonna teach one part, not teach the other? 
Yeah, we'll teach you, but we ain't got a motherfucking tie you to a tree and, and beat but your that, ass. But that was part of slavery. No, that'll be no, that'll be my fear. Do. I don't know how far you gonna take this shit. If you took no, the shit that no, goddamn no. far, don't tell you me how far you gonna take. Man, you know I'll be up at the school. I ain't even playing no games, but I'm just saying though. That ain't what it's about. <laughs> I, ain't playing no games. I ain't say they can beat them, but they can tie them to a tree and just you know say this is what had to happen. I don't even want that fucking experience. <laughs> my child going through that. That didn't happen in depression. Right. Neither did pick a gun. So, so what you be? <laughs> so, so in this situation though, in this uh, in this situation, if you looking at uh, if you looking at what happened, you know What's people. Up, uh, yeah, Venus just checked in. What up though? Uh, if you looking at you know what happened and shit, the, the, the school doing anything and shit. So at this point, who are you more upset at though? Are you more upset that the parents signed the uh, the permission slip, or are you more upset that the school is defending this field trip? You could have said no. It's choices in this little motherfucking life. And you saw that shit. Oh, kind of picking accountability, shit. huh? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Everybody's mm. needing to be held accountability. No, my thing is, mm. if you want to take the field Everybody trip, need to, be held to take them to the fields where they picked it and show them, Dude. yeah, that's fine. But I don't want my kid out here doing no... I sent him to school to get an education, not to pick your fucking cotton. He's mm. being educated. No, that's work. He's been educated. No, no, no. We no, already no, no, cried no, no, about no, no, black no, no, history. No, no, no. Gone, bro. <laughs> Black history, we Take always try to... Take them to and explain them to it. This is what, you know, they had to do. This is what they had... You don't have to have them physically picking because now my mind is is, is moving now. What the fuck are you doing with this goddamn cotton? <laughs> but then the songs, though. Yeah, why do all that, man? The that's songs, just, though. What, what you say uh, last show? That's going too far. Yeah, <laughs> that's making the sandwich. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, make, that's, that, making, that, the that's sandwich, making the fucking sandwich. That is yeah. making the sandwich on that, dog, for real. Fuck all that, man. What are you doing with this shit? You know what I mean? I, I, I honestly think they got it budgeted once a year. We can get a gang of motherfucking so, cotton. So you think that these call kids are shit, kicking cotton on the field trip and they actually profit, profit off of that shit? What are they doing with it? I mean, that's a good question, but... <laughs> they probably are probably not them. They probably like a motherfucker. It's still educating the kids on what happened that in do. them time. Oh, so we already teach that shit in the classroom. Like that. What? That was unacceptable. What? Because if they making money off of it, and you said they just teach... Like, now you... <laughs> now you... Now you making slavery, okay? Teach that no, shit in the classroom. Yes, it is. Because no, you're basically saying if, the, if it, the slave got something out of it, then Man, they did it for a song, bro. They did it through a song. Probably well, one song and they stopped. You Come know on, what? Bro. They didn't give no motherfucking money. It was million like dollars. a couple songs. You know it's what? a penny of cotton. Like putting, it's like you know putting, what? It's a penny of put, It's like putting cotton in my sack, breaking yeah, my right. back, nigga. You know what? Making money, nigga. I got an issue with it because I personally knew someone who picked cotton and they hated that shit. My great grandmother, before Rest your soul, Grandma. Yeah. You know she used to tell me stories of how she had to pick cotton. Yeah. It wasn't a choice. It wasn't. A, it wasn't nothing educated about it. You know she <laughs> had to do that shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's why I got the term "good, clean white folk" from. I got <laughs> it from her. You know what I'm saying? Right. And she had to do that shit. She used to tell me the horror stories about it. Yeah. Okay, if you want to take the kids to that to the field, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's like taking them to a museum. Yeah. You know what I mean? Stand there and tell them, educate them on what, you know, the slaves had to do and how they had to do it in the heat, this, that, and the other, yada, yada, yada. They had to do it to survive, whatever you're going to do. Yeah. But to have them physically do it, no. Yeah. I have an issue with that. Man. For sure. Yeah, Venus, sure. Venus said, my kid ain't picking no cotton. That's not teaching them black history. They don't have to physically show the kids that what slaves had to do. They could just tell them. Mug money, what you say about that? I say a lot of kids can you can a lot of teach a lot of kids. A lot of kids don't get to teach it right off the book. A lot of people are hands on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what I mean. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't think well, I wouldn't sign the permission slip because I don't want my kid picking cotton either. Right, that's the thing. So <laughs> I mean, like no, I, I wouldn't sign it. Don't get it twisted. Don't say like <laughs> I'm motherfucking for it. Like my baby picking cotton, no. That's how, that's how it sounded. That's but uh, some people probably thought it was a learning experience for their kids, bro. Like, I, I mean, I don't know, man. I mean, some people for it. And then you got to think, too, though. Again, like I said, this, this happened last year. So this ain't, this ain't new news or whatever. So, again, if you're just checking in out in Carolina, they had a field trip at the school or where they took the kids out and they was picking cotton and shit, and then people, you know, got outraged about it. So now I'm just trying to figure out, should we even expect the schools to be trying to teach black history if it's really this big of a disconnect? And then... My thing, too, though, is just looking at that situation, you got to think, 
Um, it's a difference between that shit happening here and then that shit happening in fucking Carolina. Because, like, obviously, it's a little bit, you know, the, the racial tension is a little bit uh, more, like, in South Carolina anyway. Um, so that, that shit is, is a thing there. So, like, I think when you do something like that there or down south, you know what I'm saying, like further down south, I think there's even more negative connotation to the shit. You know what I'm saying? I think that's why people blew up about the shit, because, like, you're already in a slave state. My thing is this here. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, I expect the schools to teach black history. Yeah. I think black history should be a course. You know what I'm yeah. saying? A year-round course. History is a year-round course. Right. So why black history can't be a year-round course? Right. Like, it's, it's the year-round. It's not a course. It's nothing. It's gone. I, 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 and no, we can play it about... We, we, did, we did have a... Uh, we had an Af African-American history class at, at King. Yeah, it, it should be taught all year round. All year round. Yeah, we, you yeah, know we, what I mean? Because yeah, you can't cram all our shit in 28 days. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is how you come up with... 29 and leave you. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so how do we hurry up and teach these kids this shit? Fuck it. We're going to give them the physical part of it. Let them go pick cotton. Right. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Uh, Venus said, let the teachers pick it and show the kids. The kids shouldn't have to do it. Right. That's her thing. She's just saying the kids shouldn't have to do that shit. Yeah, hell no, man. man. Yeah, she said, we, she also said, we live in sensitive times. Uh, we do live in sensitive we times. We definitely live in sensitive times. And, uh, let me see. Charles just checked in. What up, though? Said, attach a note to the permission slip. Now, they saying that in the, uh, in, in the permission slip, it says, it that, says. that they're picking mm -hmm. cotton. So, I, so people it. signed off on this shit. Mm -hmm. So, like, again, I guess the question is, like, who is more at fault, though? Like, I feel like... Everybody feel like needs to be held accountable. Bro. Everybody right. needs to be held accountable, but the, the parent who signed the permission slip... Yes, you everybody. Can't, you can't be also the one who mad about it. Can't be. Yeah, you can't be. Can't can't it's be. just... Yeah, it's not... It's, it should be against the rules. What's happening, corporate? <laughs> right, corporate culture just checked in. What up, uh, girly girl just checked in on uh, on IG Live. What up, though? What's poppin'? <laughs> she always with the damn finger and shit, though. Talking about blackity black, y'all. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know... First of all, like you said, I'm not signing a permission slip. But then at the end of the day, too, um, not only am I not signing a permission slip, I'm bringing it to I'm bringing it to somebody's attention before this even become a thing. Like I'm checking the school. Like hey, yeah, I, I I'm not signing that. permission slips. So what the fuck are you niggas doing? <laughs> like I I think I'm asking that question off rip. Like before it even get to that, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Uh, let me see. Here you go, this goddamn hat, dog. Fuck <laughs> 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 with this nigga, man. But yeah, so so in this situation, obviously they say that the uh, you know the, the teachers and shit and, and the the, uh, the whole the whole school district, I guess, had some kind of sensitivity training and shit. But what's crazy to me though is that shit like this, and this was last year, still 2019 though. So it's still like this ain't a long time ago. No, it's amazing. still amazing to me that 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 type of thing has to be taught. Like you didn't know that wasn't a good idea. Like <laughs> you thought it was cool. Like let's just take why these kids out. Why are we thinking it's not? Why 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 y'all feel like y'all don't think? Kids need to be hands on with on certain projects no, and certain shit. They need to be hands on on how to cook a brisket. They need to be hands on <laughs> on how to cut grass. You need to be hands on on how to use a saw. But that Pick shit fucking cotton. This history happened, bro. Okay, it happened. Teach it to them. So this is my thing. Don't have them do it. This because that, because like I said, you don't know what type of twisted evil motherfuckers you fucking with. If somebody yeah. came up with the thought to have these little nigglets out here Niggas. picking cotton. There was white kids out there, bro. Man, that's the overplay for the underlay. Okay, all right. That's I mean, the it was all together. That, that's, that ain't no different than a white person telling you, I know how many black friends I got. Look, I got six black friends. Look, it was four white kids out there with them too. Fuck that. I don't want to hear that bullshit. No, it's just it's just the whole thing, though. Like, it, it ain't about even black and white. It's just about, at this point, it's about being kids. I feel like if you go... So, let me see. Let me give you an example. Like, you know, and I think it's... Wherever they do a uh, civil war... Uh, like tours and shit, right? They go to some of the uh, some of the most famous battlefields and shit. When they go there, they are there are reenactments. So you got like a whole stage of people who reenact those things, and you and you learn that way. So I'm saying, why not? Why not do it that way? If you're trying to teach the kids something, they don't have to be the ones physically. Doing. Physically, you go. Yes. You, let's say you go to a plantation and they actually have a simulation of what picking cotton was like. So you're what you're live observing it. You live observing somebody and we, doing. And we'll be bitching about that. 
No, 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 that's different. Nah, that's, that's different. different. That's different. Man, that's different. Man, that's different. Me, man. Yo, no, that's tri- different. Y'all tripping by that because this all this is. No, that, no, 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 no. Yes, Reenactment. No, that's no. Reenactment. No. That's completely different. That's, that's like different. watching a documentary. But, but my thing is, though, honestly, bro, they should have had the people that work there doing it and the kids should have watched that. There you so, go. I that's mean, what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying, like, they should have, but my thing is, though. But they didn't, and it's okay. It's probably fine. No, it's not fucking fine. It's probably fine. How you gonna say it's fine, and then in the same sentence, you said you ain't signed up I'm just saying. No, like other you people said. thinking. Like, I'm not thinking about in my, my brain. You saying other people. I'm no, just saying. Fine. Like you said, that's, that, that's, that's perfect. Now, if, 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 if the kids go to the plantation and, you know, they, you know, they got employees mm-hmm. and, you know, you telling them, I don't care what color the per- the person is. I-, I would rather you have black people do it. Right. You know, have black staff out there picking I mean, cotton. Yeah, so they can get the real feel this is of, the, what, of what, what was going on. Yeah, this is a... You know what I mean? That's to, something... Yeah, you're trying to get. They, uh, here we go. <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway, but that's that's something completely different. Uh, I wouldn't have an issue with that. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? You know, I, I, I would love for him, you know, my kids to go out there and see... You know, get that education, what happened. Yeah. But what I don't want is my kid out there actually doing it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sure. Because now, it it, 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 it turn my whole way of thinking. Now, yeah. it, like, if you had a staff of people out there doing mm-hmm. it, picking cotton, okay, they probably putting the cotton back. Yeah. What the fuck are you doing with this cotton when these kids pick this shit? You still stuck on that shit. Hell yeah, I'm stuck on that shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> girl, the girl said, uh, there's nothing wrong with putting value onto the experiences. Like, yeah, and, and I, I agree with the experiences, yeah, but I just feel saying. like certain, certain shit, kids, like, kids shouldn't be, like, you should you should be privy to the information, don't mean you have to physically in, indulge in the shit, though, that's all I'm saying. So, like, what if, what if they wanted to uh, teach them about Holocaust and shit? Like, they go, they go <laughs> split up the kids and send them to the shower room and shit and get them up and gas to death? Hey. Like, I don't get it. Like, I... How now, far? Were, how far are they gonna take it? Y'all, y'all will be mad. I mean, we 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 live in a sensitive world, bro. Like it's we, not sensitive. Yes, it is. Bro. I don't think it's sensitive. Yes, it is. Very, very. Uh, I mean, at, at some point, everybody's sensitive about everything. Sensitive about. Yeah. We well, it, it was uh. So Gigi was just talking about uh, all the students, not just the black kids, but it was it was white kids in the video too. So sure. I mean, it wasn't a black and white thing for me. It's like it's a kid thing. Like it's just I, a kid. Th- there's no need to even teaching them white kids that shit either. <laughs> Having them out there doing that shit. You yeah. know what I mean? No, I mean, no, they fucking kids, man. Right. Like I said, have them stand up to the it's side. It's a job, though, bro. Like, no, it's no. a job. People get paid to do it now. Okay. Now, but that's not what they was talking about, though. Right. You know what I'm saying? Have them stand right. up to the side and have a staff of people come outside, and you can tell them why they're doing it, what they were doing it for, this, that, and the other, this was the time, yada, yada, yada. I, I yeah. mean, no. I don't know. Fuck all that. I don't want my kid out there doing that shit. Uh, I'm sorry. Can't help. Can't help. Girl, girl said the uh, screen fucked up on IG. Sorry about that. We having all kind of technical difficulties. Uh, Charles checked back in. He said uh, it's still good money in cotton, though. Uh, if my son wanted 10 acres and a cotton field after the field trip, I wouldn't be mad. Hell no. So, look. I... What? 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 I'm not fucking with you, Charles. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not doing I'm not it. Fucking no, with you, I can't do I'm it. I don't want my kids. I, 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 I want them picking goddamn cotton. Money, exactly. Money. Like it, money. There, there, and there probably is. There probably is money. It's, just a lot, it's, a, it's money and a whole lot of shit. That's I want my kid doing that shit. What's so, so, wrong with us, dog? We got our too much pride, bro. So what's next? It ain't. So, so no, it's, di- it's different. It's too different from. It's different about learning. So, so if, you, shit. if you learning about it, let's let's say you doing the physical shit. All right, so you learning about picking cotton and, and and like the the money it can make and what it's used for and shit. That's fine. They out there singing slave motherfucker. They out there sing, singing slave narratives, nigga. That's, that's like that. That's, that's, that's a mockery. That's that's a mockery, nigga. That's, that's not, not fucking with. Like yeah, I said, exactly. because I knew a slave. That's why I'm taking that shit personal. Yeah. You know, I had to listen to my grandmother tell me stories about her. She had to do this shit. Yeah. This shit was not a choice for her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She. I don't wanna, I'm and not going to say one, one thing she depression. told me. No, she, my, my great-grandmother was born in uh, ni- 1900. Okay. She died in 93. And you know what I'm saying? But, you know, the horror stories, I'm not going to say everything, but the horror stories she used to tell me oh, about this shit, true. about when motherfuckers didn't want to do it, the shit they had to go through if they didn't want to pick up. You know what I'm saying? I don't want my kid actually, like I said, educate them. I don't want them physically oh. doing it. Gigi talking about cotton, cotton picking is not the epitome of slavery, though. So, yes, it is an educational experience. 
I okay. So, too. so again, so like other people, I that. believe it's an educational experience, but the the act of kids out there do, no. picking cotton and singing Thinking fucking song. slave songs. Dude. That's that's the problem. That's the problem. Yes, I don't see how people read what my sister said. I don't have, a, I, and I don't understand how people don't have a problem with that. You know what I mean? If you gonna have them pick it, but now you want them singing and shit. Yeah. I don't know if you motherfuckers standing behind my kid laughing. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Making a joke out of this shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, no. It was serious. So, they sent out permission slips, bro. Denise just checked in. She said, Angry Man, what if they wanted to do uh, just... What if they wanted to just know how it felt to do it, to experience what they went through? No. Sis, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm not I'm not buying it. I don't want no. my kid. The, like, I like told it's you, a, like, people don't think... Like, yeah, I understand what y'all saying, so, bro. So what the fuck is that? Progressive thinking and shit? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> You can call it that. Progressive thinking. Right. Cassandra you know? just checked in on IG. What up, though? No. Nah. So I, I'm not with the progressive. No. Nah. Well, motherfucker, you not either because you wouldn't sign a permission slip. No, so, because right. I don't want. <laughs> but so it's a you, lot of, what you talking about? Because it's a lot of people that did sign that permission. Obviously, every year. Every year. Fuck you mean? Like, I mean, that's that's what they thought they process singing, probably is. They singing fake-ass Negro spirituals, I'm though. saying they sure that shit happened, bro. We already complained about motherfucking black history is dead. There's no black history. Black history. And it's being taught. It's a way to it's teach just, it. Oh, my that God. Don't make, just because that's the way they know that don't make it Right. Spirituals it happened. happened. It that, happened. Okay. And well, they like sang Negro spirituals when they picked the cotton. Like I said, so, like he said, have a staff of people doing that shit. Let the, reenact. Let, yeah, reenact. They, they do that. If you want it, don't have the kids. Put your hands on. They probably did have the reenactment. Then they had the kids want like, ooh, we want to try picking cotton. They went out there and picked the cotton. No, no, and that's how I started the whole no, thing. Man, fuck Dog, it's looking, it's looking real goofy as fuck. Hello. Though, like, like you got kids in that bitch. Uh, like they sing it and motherfucking dancing because they think it's a game. And shit. Yeah, so where's the education if the motherfucker tell me And it started to look just like game. slavery. It started to look just like slavery. Like, that's God, what's motherfuckers that sh- was happy and shit. What's like, that shit I always say? Our what's kids that? ten minutes away from being away from the plantation and don't even know it. Prime example right there. Dude. They think it's a fucking game. She said, uh they also they also pick fruit and vegetables and these dumbass kids ain't experienced that either. Look, dog. I'm not fucking with y'all. Like, I, you know what? I don't care. I don't care what y'all put in these comment boxes. I don't give a fuck with my money <laughs> saying. I don't give a fuck. I'm just the saying, shit, I'm the shit foul as fuck. Yeah, and it I, is. That shit ain't right. If you go, if you teaching, like, if you teaching black history and shit, this is a, obviously, you slavery is a part of it. already about this shit is dead, bro. It's a way to teach it. You Man. don't have to, no, it's a way to teach it. Like I said, or like he said, have somebody come out, I have a staff. If it's a field trip, nine times out of ten, when you go on a field trip, a kid ain't working. A kid Man. ain't doing shit. He's watching, observing, and learning. You understand what Duh. I'm saying? Hey, Sabrina said what you said, Angry Man. She said, uh, make you think that, uh, make you think like we gonna try to send you back to this, so practice it now and shit. Dog, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Much, think about the shit, man. Like I said, yeah, dog, if it, much, it, I, I, like I said, pride. I get what you're saying, the Too education. No, it, it probably ain't got nothing to do with it. It's mm-hmm. a field trip. Not a work trip. I don't want my kids working on a goddamn field trip. Man, they shit. supposed to be going to work. Walking through the zoo is working. You walk, you okay. walking like a motherfucker. That's okay, but they ain't feeding the animals either. Some of them. They ain't giraffes. They ain't feeding the animals. Giraffes. Either. <laughs> the the giraffes. You know what I'm they ain't picking up shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They ain't locking animals up. They not working. They're going to learn. Right. You going to field trip they to going- learn. They were learning. So what are you they, saying? What they, they were learning. They were teaching them experience how cotton was. Cotton was picked in the back in the day in the depression. You so know how, what I'm saying? So why not have a staff of people do that shit? They want the kids hands on, bro. You, you don't have to be like I said. You don't have to. Everything don't need to be touched. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. Dog. Every situation don't need to be touched. Y'all tripping, tripping. Like I mean, oh, yes. I, and I understand that. I'm I understand tripping because I'm telling you, I was. Uh, I'm being 100. I won't tell that shit either. Uh, my kid goes but, to the zoo. I don't want you uh, to the lion. I can understand how a lot of parents will say. So okay. Gigi keeps saying, uh, putting some some value to the experience, right? I read it on IG too, but I read it again. It said cotton picking is not the epitome of slavery. Uh, it's an educational experience. Put some value to the experience. It'll be different if it was only black kids being single, but uh, out on Black History Education is for all students. Dog, it's, I understand that, and you're right. And it was it was black kids and white kids, everything. I'm just okay. Look, no. I look at a lot of shit. I look at a lot of shit. Like like it's racist. I look at a lot of shit like that. Some of it is wrong and shit. I look at shit all out of out, out of place. But I think for me, this ain't even about race though. This is about kids though. This is about impressionable kids and shit. Who I don't think that you learn. I don't think there's any value in the experience of picking cotton and singing fucking slave songs. Right. I, 
If you can no. explain the value of that to me, the value of singing fucking slave songs and picking Teaching cotton. them history. Nick, Teaching what did you learn? Right. That niggas was, was singing while they was picking cotton? Yep, and breaking their backs while mm-hmm. they was picking the cotton. Did they learn what, what the... Did they learn the that the that cotton was the the, the source of all the economy in, in most of the motherfucking uh, eastern and northern parts of the I mean in southern parts of the fucking country? Did they learn the about the cotton gin? Did they learn hey, what what, what sure. cotton is doing in the economy right now? I did they learn sure. all that shit they from probably, singing did fucking they, slave songs? They hey, probably did. Hey, did they you learn? No. Did little Tyrone get tired and say I don't want to pick it no more? Did he learn what happened when they didn't want to do that shit no I'm more? I'm sure they did. <laughs> <laughs> I would have I would have uh, signed the permission slip because I heard the same stories my great grandmother told me. I would have I would want them to know what it was like for her. Alright now so I'm angry man, she, you, bro. she obviously, obviously obviously y'all got the same grandma. Yeah. <laughs> so she got the same experience, but she said because of that she, she would want them to go. No, I would want you to go, but I don't want you well, to you keep it on my fucking cotton. No, no hell no. You know, see, you don't want to let them see what grandma went through. See the it. struggle. See it. Struggle. See feel it. the struggle. See it. Like no, she, do you I don't. don't. Want, man, I on, don't bro. want them to feel her struggle. And don't want to go back to her. I don't want her. I don't. I, I, you I can see it. You can be educated, but I don't want them. Why would I want my kids to feel her struggle? What you mean? Because it happened. You, you, they it happened. It. That's the fucking wrong with us kids. They, they, they but, don't know. But, they don't but, know. But, but, but see, think about think about what you just said. What? Think about what you just what said. I just said. Now, I told you that she was a real live cotton picker. That's what mm-hmm. she was. Okay. Now, in that time, if they didn't want to do it, or if they had to do it, look at the extreme they went through. I don't want my kids to go through that extreme. What you mean? Bro? You just it's said a, you, wanted, you wanted them to it's feel the experience. I don't want them to feel that it's experience. It's hands-on experience, bro. You want your this child granny, to have a... This is what granny no, went but through. But you, you want a child to no, have a hands-on experience? This is what granny went through. They we ain't got to do that they, shit no more. They would, never, they would never feel that type of experience, bro. And what I'm saying, think about what you're saying. Think about how they were treated. You want them to actually go on the field trip and be treated the same man, way they, they were? Man, nobody, you know, with no horse and no whip out there, man. They now, wait a minute. So, like, but that was the experience back then. And so, look, so Gigi <laughs> said so Gigi said that uh, parents should have should have went with them as well to ensure the teachings were accurate. All right, I agree with that. But this, is, this last thing she said, though. She said, so what about the kids who visit the prisons trying to scare them straight? This is a completely separate situation. That's different because you, you don't lock them kids up with them goddamn people and walk away with the cameras. The cameras are there, so that's something totally different. Right. Now, scared straight and this is something totally yeah, different. Yeah, scared straight. Them yeah. motherfuckers, they, they yeah. go in there because they fucked up. Like, it's a right. pre- this is reform. Yeah, you know what I'm so, saying? So and, and nine times out of ten, the motherfuckers that scaring them straight are motherfuckers that's about to get ready to get out or they or they <laughs> on level four life. Them. Yeah, they're still educating. No, they're still, so they're still the, the, the still equivalent. Getting... The equivalent of this would be to to go to a to a uh, to a motherfucking prison and actually lock the kids up and and, and have them stay there and walk and away experience. with the cameras. Yeah, yeah. and experience and walk being away with the cameras. They, they didn't do that on this. The cameras was there. The kids was singing. Yo, that shit, yo, the shit just not fucking acceptable. That, that's that's bro. different. I'm, I'm, I'm not that. fucking with it. Period. That's completely different. I feel you, GG. <laughs> no, that's completely fucking different. I'm not different. fucking with it, period, dog. So, look, if you're just now checking in, dog, we're talking about, uh, we're talking about uh, black history. Should it be taught in the schools, right? That's what we was talking about. But we're going back to uh, last year uh, in Carolina when they had a school. Take out the kids to a, uh, I, I was going to call it a plantation. Had the kids go out to a cotton field and shit, um, picking cotton and singing fucking Negro spirituals and shit. Um, and I feel like that shit was just completely out of that shit was just out of line they've been doing it for forever the school the schools like you know backed up their decision on the shit or whatever and a lot of the parents obviously they they signed the uh permission. they signed the permission slips and shit so like after that it was like some outrage and shit i just feel like no it's not it's not a thing like i'm not i'm not signing a motherfucking permission slip and i just don't think that educationally it makes sense so that's why I, when i say do i expect uh schools to teach black history i kind of at this point I mean, I ain't got no kids, but I kind of, at this point, I don't expect them to teach it because a lot of times when they do, they do shit like this. That shit ain't acceptable. Like, I, you can't think that shit acceptable talking about it as an educational experience. That it shit is. is not an educational it experience, is. bro. No, it's not. It is. It's, it's, not. it's kids fucking picking cotton, singing. Negro no, they fucking singing slave songs. Showing them. Having them experience bro, what happened back in the day, bro. I can, shit. Man, it, I can understand if it was all black kids, bro. I'm not fucking but It was I a mixture would. of my fucking there, kids there out go. there, bro. You can suck the by them good, clean white uh-huh. folks. Yeah, they, they sure sprinkle You sound little. just like the niggas in all them goddamn Mike Bloomberg it's commercials. It's education, bro. <laughs> He right. gave us a job. <laughs> <laughs> it's an education. We got man. the experiences. <laughs> right. Uh, Armani just checked in. What up, though? She said, I don't know where we came from, bro. 
I, I feel you. Uh, I feel you. That don't mean they have to do. Armani said, uh, "What about the trade schools when the kids in Woodshop do?" Uh, do they sing old school uh, Negro spiritual songs while uh, while hammering wood like they did in, in the slave time? Like now, nah, obviously they don't and shit. And I, I feel like that's a part. That's a part of the too much. I think that's a part of the. You know, that's the extra, nigga. That's the extra. Like the slave songs and shit. I think that was the extra yeah, part. That's the sound. That's the sound. Yeah. Uh, Gigi said, "No, the fuck is not." I visited ninth precinct in elementary school. Like you visited, did they lock your ass up though? It's two different things. Yeah. You want to experience it, you got to get behind the motherfucking mm. cage and, and have them lock the motherfucking shit up, nigga. Yeah, that's a complete difference. Yeah. Man, with prison. She talking about... And right, that's a, that's a jail on motherfucking Gunston. Yeah. <laughs> ain't, ain't no prison. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what I'm saying? Nope, I ain't going to agree. <laughs> I ain't going to agree. Nope. Uh, Vanda said, city folks think differently from people in the South. That's for sure. For sure. Uh, then down South people... Uh, mindset is messed up and, and I think that's got A little bit to do with it too I think where it was at I think has Something to do with it too I just don't think here Here it wasn't even gonna happen Like I said I don't, have a, problem, I don't have a problem I don't have a problem With you educating them about that I have a problem yeah. With you having them doing it And then right. like you said Singing the songs Right you No they singing saying? Fucking no, slave songs on, bro Come on man Unacceptable. Y'all got yeah. apples and shit. Y'all see Sing songs and shit It might be no slave song But y'all be picking apples Say that again What Maybe not slave songs would y'all be singing songs? Maybe not slave songs. They did that shit, man. Maybe not slave songs. They did that shit, too. I can't they, hear you. They picked apples. They picked apples. I can't hear you. They did everything. <laughs> It wasn't difference. just cotton. A so that's what between. I'm saying. Like y'all, y'all tripping. You know what I'm saying? Because it, you know, like I really think that a lot of these people thinking like, shit, they need to be hands on experience. No, like like mm-hmm. Denise says, shit. Mm-hmm. She she as as an adult, she would have liked to see her kids show, show her kids what her grandma went through. Great grandma you, wanted you to. You can show them. I don't want them doing it. So you she, uh, she said again, Black History Month is educational for all students. This is an extra special opportunity for the schools to teach shit. Teach them in the schools and reach them at home. I agree with everything you said there. Mm-hmm. But I'm not going to have my kids singing fucking, no, right singing right. slave songs. Because I think cotton. it's a disrespect to the motherfuckers that did it. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, the whole shit was disrespectful. Like, my, my thing is this. My thing is this. If, if it was okay, I think we should have more slave songs. Fine, fine one. My, oh no, what? This, no. This what did you just say? We should have more slave songs if you should know them. It's thing, a part of history, bro. My thing is this. <laughs> find is. one of them kids. Find, I, don't, I don't know what to do with this. Yeah, thing. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, we should have more, bro. Find like, one of them kids and see them. if they have a relative or somebody, and I hope one of them do. Have a relative that Thank actually did cotton. that shit, and ask them if it's okay. Yeah. Take them on the field trip with the kids and and, 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 and see if see how they react to it. You know what I mean? See if they think that shit is okay to have their great grandkid out here doing some shit that yeah. they might have died for, that they yeah. suffer for, they've yeah. been punished for, they've been tortured for, and you and then to turn around and then have these kids out here doing this shit and. Calling it a game? It's yeah. not a game. This is history. They told it's that a young, part of history. The boy that but was that's dead. Not, that's not how they. That's no, not how the they boy that was dead kids, said it was. A, he thought it was a game. That shit ain't no fucking joke. Right. I'm not having my kid out there picking no cotton, knowing what our fucking ancestors and great grandparents went through. Right. So see, that's now, not an wanna, educational experience. Yeah. If you want to educate them, stand them off to the side. I don't see why it's not. Stand them off to the side. Have a staff I don't come out. What y'all saying? So, so, so them, come on, man. them, them reenacting a slave act and it being told to them that it's a game, it's an educational experience. Please make that make sense to me, come bro. On, dog. Come it, on, Come on, man. It don't. Come on, man. They at school on a field trip. They learn it. Like it's a game. That's so what? What are, what are they learning about the they're act? They're taking that shit as they a show. They you. But they, they think it's a game. It. But they think it's a game. So what are they learning about the true experience? The kids, the mother and the father know what the fuck it is. They signed a permission slip. <laughs> so they know what the fuck. So what? So they fucked up too? They, they are. They are. Because I'm not signing that motherfucker in the first place. So it would have been, it'd have been two students on that motherfucking yeah. chair. <laughs> <laughs> and one of them wouldn't have been mine, bro. Yeah, I'm not doing that to my kid, man. You know what I'm saying? No, if you, like I said, if you want to go on a field trip... To see how slaves to see are treated a in the cotton field, yeah, see a reenactment. No fucking problem. But I'm gonna have a third world motherfucking issue if you got my kid out here picking cotton, singing songs and right. shit. Right. Oh, it's ten after eleven. We fucking around. <laughs> oh, no, we did get started. Yeah, we did get started. Later. Uh, Shay just checked in. What up, though? She said she totally agrees. Said good morning, guys. Uh, what up, though? 
Um, yeah, so I, I just, I ain't with the shit, dog. And I, I think it was, I think it was in poor taste and shit. Um, I don't know if, uh, like I, yeah, I just, I, I couldn't do it. I just don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Armani said, if the kids are singing slave songs, let it be educational. Those slave songs had meaning. Right. Yeah, I mean, so all I'm that shit. Like, that's why I said that. Well, but that's, it why, that's what I mean when I said we need to have more songs like that because them songs had meaning about it. I get no, that, but it's like, not for them to do. Let them see it. So yeah. how the fuck they gonna learn the songs? They got to sing it to they learn can, it. They can stand right there. They ain't got to pick cotton. <laughs> hey, she, hey, look, she all mad. She talking in caps and shit. Uh, Gigi, she talking about uh, it's not like they was uh out there all fucking day, sun up, sun down, yeah, with like satchels on their backs. Come the fuck on, like she uh, mad. Yeah, y'all tripping, y'all tripping, tripping. Yeah, I definitely is. I am tripping, tripping. Yeah. 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 If that's what you wanna call it, kid, not. Picking cotton, yeah. not happening. Mine ain't either, but I'm just saying that just what other people were thinking, bro. <laughs> Duh, I don't know. Uh, uh, May May just checked in. What up, though? She so she's from Carolina. So <laughs> she's from Carolina, so this might be hit home for her. Okay, she, come on. With uh, she said, "Why? Why was that an option anyway? Out of all the history, uh, blacks conquered. You choose that." Uh, I'm coming in late. Y'all breaking in and out. I know we fucking up. My bad. Uh, IG is all fucked up. But yeah, and that's the thing. Like, um. It, it is. There's a lot of aspects of black history. She's definitely correct. And why they chose uh, picking cotton is, is, a, is a good question. Well, I, and I think good. because they chose cotton and the way they... Because it's so much... When you're talking, about, you're talking about kids, though, like these ain't, these ain't teenagers or nothing. Like they're not even in their formative years yet. So you you showing them... Um, damn. What happened to my stream? My stream just went away. Hey, when was the last time <laughs> y'all said with y'all kids and taught them? Shit? No, 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 I'm not doing it. No, but I, I get, I get that part too, though. I I'm get that part too. It. Yeah, I, I get that part too. Like everybody, everybody needs to have their hand in the educational part. And like, I think we lost and shit. I don't know what just happened. It's not showing nothing on the screen. Okay. <laughs> we fuck it up. Internet fuck it up. Everything fuck it up. Yeah. But yeah, I think. But but because of that though, like that, like that, that's the whole issue to me. I, I don't think that. I don't think it's an educational part of that shit though. Like I don't see the education and shit. If you go, if you, God damn it, the fucking OBS shit disconnect. <laughs> That's why that shit ain't working. Fuck man, we ain't having so many difficulties today. All right, it says it's reconnected, so it should be coming back on. There we go. Yeah, so that that's my whole shit, man. I I I'm not doing it. First of all, I'm not signing a motherfucking permission slip. Like that's that's the first thing. Uh, second thing is that I don't I don't feel like. Schools at this point, if they teach in black history, schools at this point, dog, if you got to, if you at a point where you think that doing shit like this is, well, obviously some people do believe that shit, yeah. but if you think that this shit is like, some I got to see the educational part of it, though. Like, what, what did they you learn? Mean, how'd you not see it? What you mean, how did I not see it? Dog, like, they, so you picking cotton and you singing motherfucking slave songs and shit. What are you exactly getting out of that, though? The experience and shit? Yes. Okay. So if that's the case... When when the interviewers asked the kid and shit like what they was doing, why did he refer to it as a, a game? game. That's you didn't, so you ain't learned shit. He said they told him it was a game. You ain't learned no, shit. No, my thing you, is if you, you have been deceived, he, just he, like in real life, so here it you is. learn games. Here you learn is. how to do games, here it is. bro. If you want your kid, learn how to play if, games, bro. If, if you want, he's learning, bro. This is like learning. It's a teaching experience. You can't tell me if he's you, learning. If you want your kid to have that experience, they should have that cotton field open all year round for people to come to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, if you, you want your do. if you want your kid to get that experience, you take them. Yeah. No, so you look, take them. So Gigi said, like, when the last time you taught a Black History lesson to them, like, for sure, I think that's last important. Last night, I, I talk to my kids about Black History all the time. Because if we explain who Malcolm X was to the dog, he say never heard of who the hell is Malcolm X. And man. I was just getting ready to say what you said. My, when, when, I, when I I was joking with one of my kids, last I'm like, night. why are you out of school? Yeah. Like, what you mean? Why are we out of school? Are you supposed to be in school? Some Martin Luther King thing. <laughs> Fuck you mean something Martin Luther King, King thing. Thing. We had to sit down And have a conversation yeah. I mean I talked to him About that Not just in February I talk about black shit All the goddamn time to him yeah. You know what I'm saying Because I know it ain't Taught in the goddamn school yeah. or, or the way I want him To learn it You know what I'm saying Like I said If you want your kid To pick cotton You take him Now she said uh, Not just in, on a hood level either Speaking of experiences But uh but introduce some inventors, leaders, and philanthropists. Absolutely. All right, so look, all that. All I, that. I understand what she's saying, Absolutely. but but I also I, I, I don't want I don't want you to to say something like that and in defense of 
the school system teaching in any fucking kind of way they want bro, to. Bro, they showing these so, kids, so that, man, that's they all I'm teaching saying. So, kids, bro. Like, so, like, yeah, some people need to step their game up on, on, on educating their kids, not just on black history, but period. Like, because you got to you gotta learn outside of school because school, sure. school only sure. teach you a certain way. For sure. Like, school is basically teaching you to be a slave anyway. That's a whole other con- conversation for another day. For sure. And I fucking hate school, but, you know, I did that shit, but I, I hated it. But I'm just saying, like, so, yeah, I, I think it's, it's up to the parents and shit to, to be able to teach their kids outside of school anyway. But even with that being said, for the parents who not doing that, I don't want that to be the excuse for the school to teach any fucking kind of way they want to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't just say, well, shit, they might as well be out there picking cotton and singing slave shit if you ain't teaching them none at home. Like, I don't want that narrative to be there because then that's it's- what will allow... That's what will allow the school to say the shit like that. The narrative is there because black history is history. <laughs> and they teaching this shit. They giving our kids a little education on them and y'all motherfucking spaz them out, bro. Y'all be... You can, you can, so you can educate without them physically doing shit. Yeah. Period. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. So yeah. like I said, what's next? <laughs> you you gonna teach them just that part of it, the, the physical part of slavery and not everything else? Who's to say they gonna take it a step further? And may tie their kid to a goddamn tree and say, "Well, hey, hey, no, like like you said, <laughs> hands on. This hands is what on. happened in slavery. Get your, get your ass, get your ass over there by that goddamn tree, or get the go, get what's hit. your leg, boy? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not even funny. Or or or, 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 or do you know? Hey, hey. Hey, little Tyrone, just run. You know, Tyrone. We're going to show you what happened when little black kids run away from the plantation. Yeah. Hands on, right? Who's to say they won't take it that goddamn far? Picking yeah. cotton was not the only part of slavery. Man, that's the thing. You can't, pick and, and, you can't and, pick and choose. You can't pick and choose. Picking cotton wasn't the only part of slavery, and slavery wasn't the only part of black history. You can't pick and choose. That's really? what I'm saying. So no, how, It's a part of history. You can't pick and choose, it's a, man. It's part of our history, bro. You can't pick and that choose. That shit happened. Educate so them, but not have them do it. So, had to do it, right, so, bro. So, and so I don't want them doing it. So let me say this: they educate them. They don't have to. That's the thing. Educate them. Like I said, like like we like we said, take them to the. Have, have oh, a, oh have, she tried to get technical. Have huh? a whole motherfucking presentation on the shit. Have some employees come out and pick the cotton. Have the kids stand over there so yeah, they can see yeah, adults do the shit. I can see. I can see where you're coming from. But I'm you know what I'm saying? Denise said, uh, when they come home, you ask them what they learned from being there. Then then you teach them the real story. All right, I get that. So do your part. All right, I get that. All right, now, now Gigi say, can you complete a science project without touching the elements? The same science. She gonna get all technical. The same science. Right, so. This ain't science. No, so it's this is element of history. This is all I'm saying, though. Yes, you um, can. Yes, you can. <laughs> I mean, you're probably not really. Though. No. Yes, you can. No. Yeah, probably not really. No. I, I'm in, not gonna argue with that. In one. this situation, yes, you can. Well, yeah, in this situation, but yeah. I mean, we talking a, about a real this science. Si- no, we talking yeah, about this not. situation, though. Yeah. We talking about. We not talking about science, and, and I agree with you, but we talking yeah. about this situation. Yeah. Yes, you can. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I can learn how to pick cotton standing over there. You right. know what I'm saying? I don't have to fucking physically do it to yeah. learn how to pick cotton. Man, I can learn what minutes, the fuck bro. they went through standing over there. They probably sang two songs, bro. I mean, goddamn, what you want to do? Put on a goddamn and they Mississippi it. Mass Choir? So, yes. We can have more slave songs and the Mississippi Mass Choir should sing them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Duh, you dumb yes. That's fucking perfect right there. We so should. look, this is, this, is my, this is my only... My only thing here, if if it was a true educational experience, then to, in, in all honesty, dog, if it's a true uh, educational experience and you actually understanding the experience of slaves who had to do this, then after the after the field trip, kids should be crying. They shouldn't be. They shouldn't have had enjoyed themselves. So they because they, if you got the true experience. That, Why is it funny? That's what I'm saying. Exactly. That's what so I'm that talking about. So that means that they didn't get a I real education. I want my kids to experience when we're when we're when we're when we're how we reach it. Reaching. If you truly experienced slavery, you would you would come out thinking the shit was funny. Reaching. No, <laughs> that's what reaching. I'm saying. Yeah. So that's not a true educational experience. You know what I'm saying? So tell me again what they learned. How to pick cotton with, with great great grandma <laughs> went thought, through and, and, back but, in the day. But you know what? Pick okay, now that it's funny. like I'm glad you just said that. Job, I'm glad you just said that. Now, what if one of them kids had a, a, a great grandmother still alive? They come home, grandma went on a field trip, and we picked cotton, and it was funny. It was a game. Right. They looked at their great grandmother who did this shit to fucking survive, and they came home. It was a game. 
Corelli. And then that's Damn what, what Granny explained. No, that's her what ex- Granny. That's what Granny. Pick up the goddamn stick and knock the fuck out of that goddamn man. your ass, uh, Billy. Uh, yeah. Nigga, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's when, when you're that's, teaching. That's no, when the teacher no, comes in. No, it ain't going to be no teaching. That's, that's when gonna you got to do your part. That's going to be some uncomfortable shit, You got to do your part. That's going to be some uncomfortable shit. Everybody do their part. Everybody do their part. Clean up, hell yeah. That's going to be some uncomfortable shit. You got your... I sat up here and lived my whole life. If I wouldn't have been a cotton fucking picker, nigga, you know, nigga, you wouldn't even be here. That nigga mad. He wouldn't even be here. That nigga angry. Hell yeah, man. It's time to get out of here. He wouldn't even be here. All right, that's what he had to let. We got to get out of here. If Granny wasn't no fucking cotton picker, now he going to come home and think it's a joke? Thing is a game. Yeah, Yo, we gonna read these last couple of comments though. We're gonna Come on, man. Uh, Gigi, check back in. She said exactly. Picking cotton was not the epitome of slavery. Uh, our our people experienced far worse: rape, beatings, murders, cotton picking places. Uh, a value on hard work and sacrifice. Touching it was only a a, a a replica. Those kids was not out there slaving. Period. Armani, thank you. Thank you. What she said. Thank you. Granny oh, would have had a heart attack. <laughs> oh, you stupid. Thank dog. you. All right, so look, we. <laughs> yes, you did say that. Yeah, right, we, you, 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 yo, yo, you, you sit, Granny sitting there watching motherfucking Jeopardy. And <laughs> Granny Jeopardy. Can't come home and shit. Talking about, I don't want to feel you, Granny. Where you go? We went to go pick cotton. She dead. She gone now. She dead. I didn't did all this shit for all these years to what, get to this elevation. What happened now, to Granny? Now, she now dead. you, now you back on the motherfucking goddamn. And, and then, like I said, for them to, like I said, it'll be different if them kids had to come home and talk to somebody who wow. actually did that shit. Yeah. Yeah, Yo. Give him another 30 minutes. Right, we about to get up out of here. <laughs> <laughs> we going to go around the block one last time, dog. Make sure you do chime in. We will read your comments live on the air. Uh, thank you, everybody, for checking us out on IG Live and on Facebook Live. Uh, YouTube video will be up later on and on iTunes and iHeartRadio uh, later on this afternoon. Hey, but look. Friday night, man, make sure you slide down the Easy Street Saloon tonight, 16101 East 10 Mile Road, man. Come through, get some of the best smokehouse food in the city. Uh, 4 to 7, man, it's happy hour. Come down and get you a dollar beer, half off apps all night. And then tomorrow night, man, we got the fight going on and shit down there. Uh, a couple parties going on. Shout out to Miss Angry Man. Uh, she's, Mrs. Angry Man, she, uh, she'll be in the building celebrating her birthday. Tomorrow night, 16101 East 10 Mile Road, man. Make sure you pull up, party all motherfucking night, you know what I'm saying, party with the guys. Uh, all right, last minute comments, man. I throw them in there. We go read them out loud. But right now, we're getting ready to go around the block. My niggas, uh, last sentiments on the way out. IG Live, man. Y'all getting ready to shut down, so we got to close y'all out. So check y'all out next time. Thanks for hanging in. Make sure you go to eblockradio.com to look at the replay, dog. All right, peace out, y'all. All right, so angry man, dog. What you say, bro? What's your sentiments on the way out, bro? Man, look at here. Not cool. Not cool at all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean... Just like I said, I think I think they making a joke out the shit. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck y'all do with this cotton when these kids pick it. You know what I'm saying? It's it's like it's it's I I, I don't agree with it at all. Yeah. Like I said, if you want to educate these kids, take them to somewhere like I said a resort, or and you have a a, a staff of people come out and reenact slavery. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They can learn that way instead of actually doing it themselves mm-hmm. I don't because like I said I think they'll get a better better understanding if they see adults doing it right you know reenacting it it's, it's like going to a play it's yeah. no different than going to a play cause like I said when the kid actually said they told us it was a game he didn't learn anything exactly you know what I'm saying I think he'll learn more <laughs> sucking his teeth don't ever do that again <laughs> I think he I think they'll learn more if they actually sit back and see the educators and the teachers fuck you talking about man they learn you learn how to play a game fuck you talking about I'm sorry go ahead like I said (laughs) Mm -hmm. they'll learn better I think if they actually see adults doing it you learn from adults you know what I'm saying? You learn from your educators. <laughs> no, you just gonna keep doing that shit, man. I you mean, if you want to send your kid out there to the slave pass, you go right ahead and let him. But he not though. He already said he ain't you know signing. Go ahead and send him. Him. Go ahead and send him. Send him out there. I'm not doing it because, like I said, a part of me, and this is just my opinion. Nobody dying left me in charge of the bitches. I've actually talked to someone who picked that shit. Dude. I don't want my kids getting that experience. Dude. Now, if you want to teach it to them. 
Have adults teach it to them. Yeah. Have the educators teach it to them. I don't want them, because like you just said, they're never going to get the full experience because they come home thinking it's a game. Right. You know, my grandmother didn't come home and that shit was a game. Right. She didn't come home and that shit was cool. Yeah. She didn't come home and tell people about the fun experience she had of picking cotton. She <laughs> said the fun experience. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like I said, have one of them kids go tell one of their relatives that actually did that shit that yeah. it was a game. And I'll... If it was educational, if it worked, let's see her reaction to that shit. Yeah. Now you're going to get a real motherfucking response. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let that kid go tell one of their relatives that actually did that shit. Hey, I went to go pick cotton. It was fun. It was a game, man. I learned this. <laughs> I did that. I got hands-on experience on picking cotton. Hands-on experience. Let them tell them that. Yeah. And you want to get an educational response? <laughs> a real response? Get that response, huh? You know what I'm saying? Get that one. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And you're not going to get it. You're not going to get what you think you're going to get. Yeah. One of two things. Like um, Marty said, grandma may have a heart attack. Grandma going to be hurt. Now you, and, then, and, no, and then they're going to get the, instead of you educating them on the soft side of it, you're going to get the real. And, yeah. and how you know that kid is ready to hear actually what your grandmother went through outside of just standing out there picking cotton and singing a song. Right. Now granny about to tell you, no. Nah, that's not what it was. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Instead of she did her part. Uh, 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 instead of you just after they got that teaching, she teaching them what the fuck the real was. Come on, bro. man. Yeah. I'm not sending. I'm not about to send my kid in front of my not my grandmother. Hey, hey, hey it's your hey, final hey. words, nigga. Oh, okay. <laughs> Damn. Hey, it's your you final words. Hey. 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 Your final right. words on the way out. I told you this shit was soft <laughs> on me right here, man. Shit. Final words on the way out. On the way out. Happy oh, birthday, well. you fine motherfucker. Okay. And I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm talking about done. this shit all goddamn day. Apparently, hey. nigga. Well, well, buddy, well, what you say, bro? I ain't as long with this stuff, <laughs> but I'm going to just say this. That's some bullshit. It's a learning experience. I think I think people can learn from it. Um, me personally, honestly, I wouldn't want my baby to do it. I, I don't have a great great grandma. My great great grandmama didn't do it. So. I don't know what experience is, and that's probably just me being less educated on it. And this is what the problem is. They say black history did, and we ain't teaching it, and this and that. And here's an opportunity with people teaching it. And it's got to, and it's honestly got us talking about it. You know? yeah. We've been talking sure. about it for years, you know what I'm saying? So this is a p fucking part of history also. You know what I mean? Like, I understand, like, I mean, I, people, so many people up arms, but my thing is the people that signed a permission slip, you want to be mad about some shit? Man, shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you sign up for Mitchell, you can't be mad. You can't be, yeah, you can't be mad. Uh, Gigi said, that's why you accompany your kids to field trips. I'm sure the parents' explanation of the experience would be totally different from a kid. You know what? You're absolutely right. And that's why it's not a kid's field trip. I think we're going to end on that. So, on that note, because <laughs> I ain't even going to say what I want to say, because basically she summed it up right there. I agree with that. But I think that that's true because a kid's interpretation of that shit, I don't think they're gonna be, I don't think they're gonna be capable of handling the true experience of it. So why have them actually engulfed in the experience if they not go really get the educational experience out of it? They made it fun for them. Why would you make <laughs> slavery fun? So they won't be so hard. When kids, kids have nightmares. Oh God, you don't want to put that. He said they person. made slavery fun for them. Oh God, On that God. note, dog, we gonna get up out of here. <laughs> oh I want to thank everybody who checked us out today, bro. <laughs> he really just said that yes, he did. Shit, yeah, did. Everybody who checked us out on IG Live, man, on Facebook Live. Uh, if you're on YouTube watching the, re uh, the replay at this point, dog, make sure that you do click on the subscribe button so you can get a notification every time we go live, and then we'll be available on iHeart. Uh, motherfucking what's that other shit? Uh, Spotify and iTunes and shit in a in a few hours. So make sure you log on there and you can subscribe there as well and take us everywhere with you because it's E Block Radio, nigga. We out here. Yeah, uh, sure. It is the weekend, man. So like I always say, every weekend, man, have fun this weekend. Enjoy your, enjoy yourself. Enjoy your family. Right, love on the right. people that deserve the love and shit. And like yeah, like of course, like I always say, man, arrive alive because we want to see y'all on Monday. So uh, enjoy yourself and be safe out here, dog. Till the next time, you already know what it is. The Live is Cloud Radio Show on the planet. Earth, cuz. Straight from the E-Block Radio Live on your dial. I got my man, Angry Man, in the building. Happy birthday, you fine motherfucker. <laughs> my man, Buck Buddy, holding it down. Man, you already know what it is. And of course, man, it's your boy in the hood, Howard Stern, Q Lewis, holding it down live from the 48205, man. Peace out, y'all. Yep. Deuces.
iCloud radio show on the planet. E-Block Radio. (laughs) 